Hey yo, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the man of stand up. Right now I'm up in here, seven views, enjoying the weather. Got my man, Sifu Sharif from Yee's Hung God Association. So, you know, I get a lot of emails, you, know, you know, a lot of cats asking me about the different styles of, you know, Chinese Kung Fu. Today, you're seeing Brother Gazi, but today, we're going to talk about Hung God Kung Fu. So, one of my first questions. Well, First man, welcome to Syracuse. Oh, thank man. you. Brother. I mean, you, know, you, you caught it on a nice day. Syracuse weather usually isn't, isn't this good. Yeah, it's definitely nice yeah, out it's here. Beautiful out definitely here. can enjoy the weather. Absolutely. You know, you can definitely mortgage your house out here. Cheap payments. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Two hundred thousand. Oh, that's you know, you know, oh, one hundred thousand. That's right. Yeah, one hundred. It's a buyer's yeah. market in Syracuse. Definitely, real definitely. Talk. You know, yeah, real talk. Market. Real talk. Got to come out here. But anyway, today we're gonna to talk about Hong Kong Kung Fu. You know, I want to know some of the people want to know what are some of the most important principles of Hong Kong Kung Fu. That's a good question. I mean, you know, Hong Kong is just one style. You know what I'm saying? It's just one style of many different styles that come from China that I love them the name Kung Fu. You know, on the surface, there a lot of them look different, but we all share core principles, just like with what you do. You know, Hong Kong places a huge emphasis on foundation training. You know, if you just have techniques and you don't have solid foundation, like you guys call it Gong Li, you call it Ling Gong, you know. If you don't have solid foundation and you just have punches and kicks, the punches and kicks are, without the foundation are really just more athletic skill. It's just like an athletic skill. That means that if you don't have foundation, but you got punches and kicks, you better hope that the other guy is not stronger or faster. Because then, you know, then it's just athletics. You see what I'm saying? But with the foundation, you know, like with us, you know, we heavy emphasis on the stance training. You know, the train, you know, the, the train, the, you know, yeah, training stance. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but not just, a lot of people think four stance is just, oh, I bend my legs and I sit low to make my legs strong. Okay. No, what we're doing is, what we're doing is training structure. Okay, anybody who's like a architect yeah. or like somebody who understands structural design knows that the most, the strongest structure for upward propping force is the arch. So, regardless whether it's Taiji, Bagua, Honga, whatever, when you do the horse dance, whether it's high, low, narrow, wide, it doesn't matter, as long as the arch is formed, then the stance is proper. You have some people that say, well, you gotta do thighs parallel, okay. But if the objective is to develop the root and develop solid structure, then the thighs parallel position doesn't Get, give you, you know, that object. So you could stand that way and develop strong legs, but you still wouldn't get to the Okay. So that's our number one skill. I, I, I understand that, brother, but um, now there's some people that say, okay, you know, the forms of Chinese Kung Fu, the routines, you know, you know, they want to, you know, I'm just asking you, I know what it's for, but you know, for my viewers out there, so some people are not educated in the Chinese art. Now, how does this form stuff come into play? You know, the, you know, some people say, oh, well, you know, what is the tiger club, or right. what is the king? Or, you know, right. even like Bawa walking walk in a circle with it. So how in Hong Kong, how yes. can it uh, relate to actual combat? Very good. My, um, the way my instructor says it, and we, you know, we follow that, is that technique is dead. Okay. Technique's not alive, people are alive. And in, a, in an old clip that I did with you a long time ago, yeah, World true. Tai Chi Day, I said it this way, i never seen a style beat up anybody. That's true. I've seen people get beat up by other people. Well, and we people, don't you know, a lot this year. Ex yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, what's assumed you know, is that when you're learning to understand that it's a, it's a training module. You know what I mean? It's a training module. It's just teaching me, if I'm doing, you know, Black Tiger, it's just teaching, it should be, I should be asking certain questions. I should be asking, why is my hand this way? Why are my fingers spread instead of closed? Why is the palm, you know, arch forward? Why is the, 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 the palm hollow instead of flat? You know, why is this hand here? Why is it this way instead of this way? Are they, is this way wrong from this way? You know, we should be asking these questions. And when we start asking these kinds of questions, then we start unlocking the book, opening the book. These techniques are book. You can't go to college, and you can't say you're a college grad just by buying the books in the curriculum. You gotta go to the lecture. You gotta go to the class. You gotta take the exams. You see what I'm saying? So the techniques and the forms of these books, it has the lessons in them. But just because you got the book doesn't mean you have the lesson. So, you know, when you start asking the questions, why is this hand this way? When we do this, for instance, in this technique, right? I train it this way because I'm training multiple things at the same time. Do I use it that way? No. If I'm striking, I'm not going to strike like this. Break my fingers, right? 
So, but if I'm locking or grabbing or ripping, I'm not gonna thrust my hand forward either. So the usage looks entirely different for the train. You, you, you see what I'm saying? I, 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 One other thing I wanna say about that too is that, like for instance, you know, we have different things like poems and codes and things like that. So we have some poems that relate to training, some that relate to fighting, you know what I mean? So one of them that relates to training is this. In the Chinese we say, um, tit ma, tit kyu, chin gan cho, which means iron horse, iron bridge, <laughs> thousand pound sinking. This is for training. We don't fight like that. That's something for training. Iron horse, iron bridge, thousand pounds sinking. That's for the training. But then we have another poem for the fighting, right? Big okay, so Ma, something, thank you, sir. So Big Ma, meaning this is relating to training now. I mean to fighting. Whereas in the training, I sit solid. I have a firm bridge. I sink the energy down. This is for my training. But for the fighting, Big Ma means slide in horse. You go in. I don't stand so, here and look so crazy and pose, okay. you know, I, I slide in. So forget, trust me, I, I, know, I know you're feeling it right now, but hold on one minute. I'm going to have my man, so can you just, don't hurt the, don't hurt the brother. Don't hurt him. <laughs> you know, he's doing me a favor. No but you know, for the viewers, I want, you know, the, the first technique, can you show the functions of a ball? Like, you know, like, this is an idea. Absolutely. So my people can, you know, people that don't know, understand Chinese Kung Fu can actually see that these movements are designed for killing. That's right. All right. it's, a, it's, a, it's a different game. So let's take those three principles applied to that one okay. technique, okay. right? So we're trained in, in the training, right? <clears throat> you know, I'm training the horse to be solid, the power to go from the back leg all the way to here, right? Training the spirit, the the intent, right? Training the shape, okay? That's training, okay? In the actual fight, it's different. It all depends on what I want to do. So I square with the guy. He moves in, he moves in. okay. This, I'm not noticing, like, hey, because I'm not clawing him. I'm at, on this case, I'm actually striking him. Okay, so I'm striking with the paw, okay. right? Also, another thing, too, is that I, I'm holding my hands high, here. Okay. So yeah. this movement here, hoops out, right? Mm -hmm. Some people will play it this way. He strikes at my head, and I circle this way. I like that. That's but the nice. reason why that doesn't work so well is right there, because yeah. he's in the upper gate. My hand's in the lower gate. I have to circle it all the way up in the upper gate and then bring it down. Chances are I'm going to eat that shot. So another way to play that, right, if we use this, mm -hmm. and then, and then the strike, okay? Because my hand's already, is already below the bridge. So I open him up. If he immediately fires the other hand, then, sorry, then I close him down. You see? Like that. So, of course, it doesn't look that way in the form. <laughs> You know what I mean? In the form, we're like, <clears throat> wow, right? That's training. And actual fighting is different. It could be, it could be this way. Same thing. It could be this way. I use the scissor hand. Like then catch and then strike. That's the fighting. Mm. But you have to understand, my seafood will put it, you know, my seafood Frank Eve says it, you have to know what you're doing. That's the simple way of saying, you have to understand everything there is yeah. about the movie. And that don't look like competition right there. Bro. That's not competition. <laughs> that don't look like no points right there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's not competition. You know what I'm saying? And, and there's no... Right there, and also, too, right. I want to say something else, too, about fighting. Yeah. There's no unbeatable technique. There's no unbeatable style. You know, the Chinese put it, a thousand techniques, a thousand counters. Nothing's unbeatable. Maybe he can get his legs off faster. Okay. Maybe because Kung Fu means human excellence. It doesn't mean a technique. It means human excellence. So an expert basketball player has good kung fu. Maybe some people say get hung up on techniques. High kicks are not effective. It all depends on who you're talking to. Tell that to Bill Superfoot Wallace. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Bill Superfoot Wallace, classic example of good kung fu. He had an old hip injury to his right leg. Everybody knew it. So they knew he couldn't kick with his right leg. They knew he, he was either going to throw the round kick, hook kick, or the side kick with his left leg. And they still couldn't stop him. That's kung fu. That's it's human excellence. Not the technique. Okay.